My brothers, we begin recognizing this historical place, the holy place, our calling, the unity with the Lord and the person of St. Peter. The Lord in His guidance left in charge. But also as we gather in this very sacred place, in this uh, Thomas and Peter's, we are called to reaffirm our Catholic faith and to strengthen our communion with his successor in the primacy, his holiness Pope Benedict XVI. The message or first reading from the book of Jeremiah stark and challenging. Listen to my voice. The prophet attacked the formalism and superficiality of his people's worship. They honor God with their lips, but their hearts and minds were elsewhere. This was also true of their penitential observances. For these were not firmly anchored at the depth where they became a genuine encounter with God. So conversion, repentance, involves an entire new relation to God which embraces all spheres of our life. Be still, listen to me, says the Lord. One would think that casting out a demon would convince others of God's power working through the exorcist. But today's Gospel demonstrates that even such an act can be misunderstood by some, attributing the successful exorcism to an alliance with Satan himself. Jesus' reply is that every kingdom divided against itself will be laid waste. Jesus has been victorious over the forces of evil. That we fully believe. In a supercharged environment in which we minister today, my brothers, let us not allow others to divide us, to set us against one another, here in the eternal city, let us renew our commitment to the bond of charity with one another and with the entire college of bishops with and under the headship of the successor of Peter, Pope Benedict. It's unity with the Lord himself in the person of Peter, but also unity among us as successors of Peter. The dream of Jesus, may they be one, as you, Father, and I are one, so that people will come to believe in this move towards the evangelization, our unity is an eternity. Listen to my voice, walk in my ways, be with me fully, Holding nothing back, says the Lord. May Mary, the mother of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, Mary, the mother of apostles, help us to keep that unity that Jesus dreamed with and that he began with his life, his word, his example, so that through us, Many more will come to believe that Jesus is Lord and that the truth that he lived and proclaimed is in our midst, the Church.